Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jack and this is my happy place. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, guys, if you're new to my channel, I like to do different types of hauls, mostly Dollar Tree because it is my favorite store. Um, and I am working on some other things that I hope to be bringing to you soon with different, um, you know, organizational tricks and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you have that notification bell turned on down below so you know when I upload a video. Um, and and I would love to have you as a subscriber here and join our family. So thank you so much um, again for being here and let's get right into today's Dollar Tree haul. Um, I was able to find so many new things so I'm excited to share them with you today. I'm gonna get started with some of the toy stuff first. Um, and I've been having amazing luck with toys lately, guys. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen all the toys I've been hauling. Um, and guys, there's like so many amazing things for Christmas to start putting away. So I'm gonna show you some of the new stuff that I found. Um, the first thing that like caught my eye immediately was Hot Wheels stuff. So I know every now and then like they'll have Hot Wheels cars, um, but guys they have the track so um so the first thing was this launcher that goes with this set so there was um like just track so you can see here is this track set and these are the pieces it comes with two pieces and um i'm trying to see it doesn't say how long it is but i did bring my ruler so yeah, like two i would say a little over two feet um this is so really awesome that's great and you get two of them and you also get this well they're separate you buy them separate but this is the loop builder so this will um turn it into like a loop and it comes with the pieces to do that um and then the launcher so that was like great and you can obviously buy more track pieces and all of that stuff so i thought this was a really awesome find guys christmas so amazing guys i did get this cup from the dollar tree i just like to put my um i didn't haul it today but i'll just show it to you guys since i'm drinking it but um I do put my coffee cups in these. I like to keep them in my console of the car just because I hate like when the coffee cup sweats and like makes a mess um, and like gets liquid all over the place. So I like to keep these like on hand and just stick them in here um, because then it kind of contains everything and makes it not messy. So there's like a little hack I have for you guys. I always do this. Um, and now that they like won't give out the hot cups anymore, this is definitely a good alternative. So little idea um also guys while i'm talking about other stuff that i use from the dollar tree i did haul this headband not too long ago um so this was like one of the ones that does have the knot at the top just like i like it um and i know that they had other ones i wasn't able to find that many with the patterns on it but i did find like some solid colors too um so that is what that looks like on um okay Sorry guys, little sidetracked back into the haul. So, um, where was I? Toys. Okay, so I found more lock stars. Um, and I know I showed you like some of the characters that I got the other day, but I was able to find a couple more. Um, this one looks like a robot or something. Um, and then you have this like one that has all the eyeballs. I found this one with um, the horns and like three eyes. I don't know where the names are on these guys, sorry. But these are, oh, they also say series one up here. This is like a unicorn and this guy that I already got last time. So I didn't realize I got a duplicate, but that's okay. Okay, and then also I was able to find more Barbie clothes um, and I found this little ensemble um, which comes with the accessories as well. So it's like a skirt dress or something, skirt and shirt. I don't know if that's a dress or one piece, um, but it also comes with the bracelet and the necklace, which is super cute. Guys, I'm excited because I have a lot of Halloween stuff to show you, but I'm gonna try to do that at the end and like just get through this stuff first. So in for food, I picked up more of this 
um, mountain trail mix. Guys, Andrew loves this stuff. It's really good. Um, and they do come in individual packages. So I can show you what that looks like. You get four of them in here for a dollar, which is a great price. And I love like the single serve stuff because it's good for like portion control and um, like just to take on the go. So like these are the packages that it comes with so they are like smaller packages um but definitely good to take with you and you get four and here are the nutrition packs just in case you wanted to pause it on there and look so definitely a great sign next thing i found was um some new food so these are um sugar sprinkled coconut cookies by global brands and everything that we try by global brands we usually really like um so we are coconut enthusiasts in this house so i did pick this up to give these a try and you do get um 10 packs in here so if you guys can see that it was like normally they're eight packs i guess and this one's like a 10 pack so i'll open one of these um So this is what they look like, perfect for lunch boxes, back to school, on the go. Um, and you can see right here that they are like little tiny individual cookies in here. These are definitely a cool find and I have heard good reviews about these. So um, I'm hoping that we like them. Next thing I've also hauled before was um, this Forbes watermelon taffy. I was able to find more of it. Um, last time I picked up the creamsicle and the watermelon and I brought them both to my dad and he said that he does not like the creamsicle even though he normally does like creamsicle stuff but he really liked these so I know Andrew liked these as well so I did pick up um one more they're hard to come by though you gotta look guys I found them um like in the candy aisle but in the bins that are underneath that they usually just throw like bulk candy in it was under there like you had to look so keep your eyes out um the next thing i found was some of this saison seasoning and this is a three ounce container um i normally do keep this in the house so i normally just get the little packets because i don't use it all the time but i was almost out um i like i said i don't use it all the time but i love to make so when my sisters were growing up um i would always like make breakfast for them and things like that and one thing i would always try to like do different things and um one of the things i would always make for them is like a very modified like huevos rancheros but like not real at all we'd kind of just call it that but i don't really know how accurate it was and it was i would make cauliflower rice and put this in it instead of like a regular rice just to try to keep it a little bit healthy um and then i would do like the fried egg on top with like i don't know like cut up like ham or something like that and we would just kind of make it um or like sausage and we would use this for that so my sisters love this now so i think i addicted them at a young age um so i did keep one of these uh i bought one of these so that way i could keep it in the house because i am out of it so i thought this was a really great find for a dollar guys the next thing i found i don't know if these are new but they are super fun so these are called selfie lip pops so they're lollipops and they have like different animal faces on them and each one's a different flavor. So there's um, strawberry, blue raspberry, green apple, and um, watermelon. So the watermelon one is like a bunny face and the blue raspberry is a dog face, green apple is a pig. And I'm gonna go with a cat for the strawberry. I'll let you see it. So um, that's what those look like. And then they also had like this package as well. Um, and they had like a unicorn, a dragon, like some like mermaid lips or something. So I'm going to open one of these so I can show you guys what they look like. So the candy, it looks like the, okay. So if you guys can see that there's like the lollipop and then there's like a plastic piece for the, it's kind of hard to tell. I'll just open it. I'm not gonna try it, but um, so this is what they come in. They are individually wrapped. These are really cute for like party favors too, to like put in a bag. So it's like a, kind of like a pacifier lollipop. And then this is the front. So like, it would be like this. I don't know. I think that's really adorable. Um, 
especially like when you're trying to keep a lot of kids entertained. There are four in a pack, so that's a great deal. I mean, the lollipop's tiny, but um, let's see. Since I have my ruler here. Yeah, so this is about two inches. So it's not like huge, but definitely cute for a kid. And I think they could have a lot of fun with it. And there are a bunch of different flavors. So, um, and like style. So there was this like yellow one that had animals. And then this one that had like mystical creatures, I guess. Okay, guys, this is, I'm just gonna go through the rest of it and then I will show you the Halloween stuff. Um, so one of the first things I found was this terranium planter. Um, and guys, this is like, so it has like a hanger or the bottom is flat. I don't know if you could really see that that well. Um, where did I put my ruler? Okay, so this is, like I would say four and a half inches tall and the opening is um, three inches wide. So this is by Floral Garden. There's the uh, tag right there. And you could hang it and it has like a little aerator on the side here. So this is really cool, um, especially for a dollar. So you could hang these um, either like on your balcony, you can hang them in the house. Um, or you could just lay them flat on a surface too. There's definitely tons of tons of things you can do with these. You can fill it with um, like decor stuff. Um, a lot of possibilities with this. So I was excited to find this. Um, the next thing that I found was this coloring book and it was Creative Animal. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a, this is like foil kind of, like a goldish foil. Um, and it is an adult coloring book. And it's just all different animals, dolphins. So it's like of land and sea, you got the monkey, a bear. So this is like really cool. I really liked this. And I did haul all of those beautiful uh, colored pencils not too long ago where they had like neon, they had metallic, like all different colors. So I thought it would be really fun to de-stress with one of these um so definitely check this stuff out i did find it with like the kids coloring books and it was just mixed in um also in the craft department i found oil pastels guys so these are by crafters square and i have not seen these before so you see all the different colors at the bottom and then on the back it also lists the colors um so it says what they are i don't know if that's focusing but white yellow orange red pink burnt sienna blue light gray dark green light green brown black so all basic colors plus a nice burnt sienna um so i thought this was really cool you you get 12 and these are a green buyer product guys they're crafter square so they're definitely still coming out with more crafter square stuff which is really really exciting okay guys i know all of you like loved the sunglasses when i hauled them last time so i did find another pair i am still looking i'm always on the hunt for sunglasses i love them but i did haul these in black but i did find them in white which i thought were super fun so um i picked these up for my beach days if I make it to the beach again before summer ends but if not these are really fun vacation glasses again whenever we go on vacation again so I did pick these up as well and guys the best place to get them is the Dollar Tree because then you don't feel bad when you lose them or they break guys I found more of these like Lysol Clorox wipes um, so you do get 15 wet wipes in here and this is the crisp lemon scent um, and I hauled these in my last video too, but I found them again, but they only had lemon this time. So guys, you can use these everywhere. You can take them, um, you know, in the car, you can wipe down your cart with them at the supermarket, like anywhere. These are perfect for, um, for a house daily use the doorknobs, um, things like that. So I'm so excited that these are coming back because you really can't find them in the store, at least where I am anyway. So it's crazy that you can, you can't find these things in any of the stores, but then you can find them at the Dollar Tree. And I know that 15 wipes isn't as good as like the big tub of them, but still, if you can't find them and this is the only place you can get, like get them or the only quantity, it's better than not getting any at all. So, um, guys definitely keep your eyes out for these. Um, sometimes like they're, um, 
in, right in the front when you walk in. Some um, Dollar Trees actually have them behind the cash register and like they're over there so you have to ask and they give them to you i just found these with um the regular cleaning product so definitely check all those places right hand in hand with that i found a new um antibacterial wet wipe and these are by assured um and this is the fresh scent i was finding some like i don't remember like rainforest scent or something like that and the package like had a river on it or something i don't I don't remember but i was finding those and those had 40 as well but then this one was the new one i was finding so it says kills germs for hands and face moisturizing form formula convenient and portable um and these do say antibacterial guys so you get 40 of them in here okay guys the next thing that i found was um this personal face mask and guys it says um that this is like a, well, it doesn't really say anything. This is a cloth mask though. I'm going to go ahead and open it so that way we can see what it looks like because I know that I have been able to find like the other, I'll just show them to you because I have on here, like these, um, the like paper disposable ones, but these look like they're reusable. So, um, they look like, well, here, when you pull it out, it's like this with the ear loops. Um, and I don't know if you could see the edging. It's not like that great. It's like some type of spandex material. So honestly, guys, this is a little bit too like big for my face. I would definitely need to use an ear saver with it. Um, I know that I talked to you guys about different hacks in the Dollar Tree in, um, one of my other videos about wearing masks and um, different ideas from the Dollar Tree that will help them stay on your head better and not hurt your ears. Um, I also did link in that video too my favorite ear savers that I use um, and they are from an Etsy store. Um, so I can link all that down below if you guys want to check out that video and see my mask hack um, or also purchase one of those um, ear savers that I use from the Etsy store. I can link that um, store down below as well. Um, but guys these are definitely big so you just know that if you're going to use this you might need to use like a mass uh ear savers with it just to hold it in place on your head okay guys i got a couple books um and the first one that i picked up is a hundred party cookies so i just thought this was really cool you can see the back here too with all the different cookies on it and it retails for 17.99 um, and it says a step-by-step -step guide to baking super cute cookies for life's little ce celebrations. Um, so that's really cool because it will show you how to like use a couple different types that are generic and what you can, what else you can make with them. Oops, I want to show you that page. So this is really cool. Um, and so here's like the first category. It says birthday parties. And there's all different, like a monogram, a flower bouquet, you know, and it gives you what you need. And then like the step-by-step -step instruction. So very cool. Um, it has like Easter, different holidays, Santa hat. So very cute. Um, I'm excited to check this out. And with the holidays coming up too, this is really cute. You could also do this with a gift, guys. You can get like... Um, some like baking supplies and utensils from the Dollar Tree. Um, you could put either like a couple ingredients or some cookie cutters and put it in a basket and give this as a gift for like Secret Santa, for someone in your office, something like that. So really um, great ideas, guys. Start looking out for this. And if you think outside the box, like there's a lot of gifts that you could give that you really don't have to spend a lot of money for, so. And then the last um, book that I got was, it's called Knife. Um, Texas Steakhouse Meals at Home. So guys, this is like a hardcover book. It's huge. And okay, it doesn't say the retail value here, but maybe it's on the inside. If not, I will uh, like put it somewhere. But um, this is really cool. So, so guys, this cookbook is like very big. Um, and there's like different like introductions, whatever. And then it like goes through the different cuts of meat. Um, like how to sharpen your knife, how to cook the perfect steak, um, like different types of steak butters. 
So I don't know about you guys, but I love like a gorgonzola butter for my steak. Um, but there's definitely like different options and they have like even just how to do slow cook cooked beef. There was like a lemon chicken, like um, even grilled cheese. So this is very cool and I was excited to find this guys. This book is like thick and huge. So um, definitely if you see this, like check it out. I love getting cookbooks and other books like this at the Dollar Tree. So we made it to the Halloween stuff. Um, I'm so excited. I have a ton of stuff and I can't wait to show you guys. One other thing I did want to say is that um, if you guys don't already, please follow me on Instagram or just check out my Instagram page. I'd love for you guys to follow me there. Um, I can put the handle right here. It's jacks.happy.place um, on Instagram. And I like to post things that I might not necessarily purchase, um, but I think you guys still might want to see it. I might just not need it or... Um, might not want it but you guys might want it or might need it or might find it interesting um everyone has different tastes so i just like to post things that i find that i see that i think are new um so that way you guys maybe can look for it if it's something that you're interested in so definitely check me out on there as well um okay guys let's get right into the halloween stuff and my jackpot item is in here so i'm let's get right into it um so the first thing i wanted to show you was this cute little guy the skeleton guy um so i'm probably gonna hang him like oops his leg is backwards um i'm probably gonna hang him like on the side of my fireplace i did want to get one more but they only had one at the store i was at um to, to even it out it's all about the symmetry so i gotta um get one more but i am gonna do like a day of the dead theme this year i think um for halloween um I don't know we'll see i will see but um i will definitely show you guys my fireplace too once i do it i love decorating my fireplace it's like a monthly fair in this house so um i'll definitely show you guys or let me know if you guys want me to do a whole video on it let me know down in the comments and i can um definitely work on that as well so the next thing i got were these um ornaments they're like halloween ornaments and you get five of them i did like them because they have like the eyeball looking ones i don't really necessarily care for the black ones and they also had these as well so i just like the different color eyeballs that's why i picked these up maybe i will end up using the purple and black one but i don't know i i'm thinking of putting them like in a vase with all like the eyeballs i don't know we'll see um so the next thing i got was this the um day of the dead and I actually did get a couple because I liked this side as well. So I think I might use this side instead. I don't know yet. And then I also did get this scarf. So it's 11 inches by 60 inches. And these are all the flags. So I will probably end up using this as a runner on my fireplace. That's why I got it. So if you guys want to see that design, um, really cool i love to use the dollar tree scarves as runners for my mantle next i got this this guy right here um it is big i was hoping to find i know that they had smaller ones that are on stands and i do want to find those i am looking out for them but um i figured just in case i can't find them at least i have one of these but these this is big guys i keep losing my ruler because it's clear so yeah this is like about a foot tall they also had some garlands um in this section as well so they had these and these i don't know if i'm gonna end up using these because i showed you guys in my last haul the gar garland i think i'm gonna use but i just like to have options um but it it looks like there's six six heads i think oh no seven and they are all different designs and colors. Um, I also got this dish towel because I cannot resist a great dish towel. So I picked this one up. I got this serving platter, which I just thought was so fun. Honestly, I loved it. And I feel like I know the perfect person I wanna give this to too, so. I also found this skull. They did have it in white too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like an iridescent kind of color. And they had the white iridescent too. I just got black. Okay, guys, then I found this um, doormat. And it, all right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I got the, um, it was a doormat that's like had a red pickup truck on it and it was filled with pumpkins and it said like happy fall or happy harvest or something like that so it's the same type of material and mat but um this one is for halloween and i loved it so 
it says come in come in my pretties i couldn't remember what it said um but so cute i brought this home and andrew loved it too he's like wow this is perfect so i love it especially with um fall coming up and a hocus pocus and all of that i like can't wait or i'm i can't wait to watch hocus pocus this year i just love the fall it's like my favorite season it's also my birthday season so um no wonder why i love it it's when i was born um but this is really cool and i'm so excited about these um these mats that they have honestly i don't even have enough places to put them all because I love them. I think they're so cute. Some of them are funny and I want to just like keep getting all of them, but I'm trying to be selective because I'll just end up with like a stack of them if I don't. Okay guys, so are you ready for my jackpot item? It is, I found these bottles, okay? And they are like Halloween themed. They almost look like potion bottles. They're glass in case you didn't hear that, but they have like the cork at the top. This one says zombie brew and unfiltered poison. And then there was Witch's Brew and Wool of Bat Magic. Guys, how cool are these? I love these. So last year they came out with those, like, maybe they weren't new last year, but that's like the first time I think I paid attention to it, was like those um, books. They were boxes, but they looked like books and they said like potions and spells and whatever. And I loved those for my fireplace last year. So I did pick up, I think, one or two of them last year and I still have it. But I was like, how perfect to go with those. Oh my God, these are so cute. And guys, these are glass for a dollar. They're like so pretty. I feel like these are with like the Target decor and stuff like that that they have every year. So I thought that these were beautiful and like a great find for a dollar. And they're like really well made. So guys, really cool. You could use these um if you guys do a Halloween party, like as decor on the table. Um, But this is just really fun. This witch's brew one, I just noticed said, brewed with only the finest of all natural ingredients in the grand tradition of Salem's finest witches. So I, that's really cool. And this one says rehydrate bat's wool in warm milk. I didn't even notice that they said like cool things on them. Fermented zombie toes and fingers. And fine mix of bone dust gnomes. Oh, bone dust, gnomes toes, and dragon saliva. So I don't know, just really cool. I liked these a lot and I thought they were super like awesome for theming and I love that. I'm all about the little details. So this was a really great find and definitely my jackpot item. Um, so guys, if you enjoyed today's haul, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and please give this video a big thumbs up, big thumbs up. Sorry. I'm like, my mind's working a little too fast today. So big thumbs up, like, and subscribe down below and make sure you turn on the notification bell. So that way you get a no notification every single time I upload a video. I'd love to have you guys come back and join me again. Thank you again for coming today. Make sure to check me out on Instagram and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.